instruction manual. This is a 30 watt power adapter, efficiency level six, which means standby power is lower than 0.1 watts. Start at lowest intensity, use with socks. Don't use it more than 30 minutes each time. If you don't feel well, stop using it. Put your foot in, turn it on. It starts the kneading action on low. It's just how fast the motors move internally. Air intensity is the air bellows and how much they squeeze your foot. Heat, you can turn it on or off. Looking into the foot well, if I turn off the heat, the light will turn off. There's also a 15 or 30 minute timer. Press it and it'll turn blue for 30 minutes. Press it again, it's 15 minutes. This first layer of fabric is removable so you can unzip it. On Velcro here and also in the inside and stick this in the laundry to clean it. To put it back on I recommend to put it on like a glove and put the Velcro at the tips of your finger, insert it in and feel around for the Velcro piece until you can attach it. Attach the other Velcro piece to the back of the foot area and zip it back together. The zipper tucks in and it's back and I'm gonna open this up so we can take a look at the massagers. Usually you have to remove the toe anchors and that comes right off after that. This is the top shell, the back of the control panel. There's a buzzer here for the audio feedback and the cable leading to the main board. DC input port goes here. It appears there's almost nothing on the main board. All the electronics is on the back. It's super low cost because this is a one-sided PC board. All the traces is what you see here. The DC goes in here. This goes to the front panel. This cable traces to the solenoid. This cable traces to the front motor. So there's one single air pump for the entire massager. One single motor for the bottom of the foot massager. This is the air bellow for the top of the foot. It's just one big air balloon. There's also the bellow for your ankles here. Here's the massage mechanism. There's a lot of nubs here. There's a motor that drives these two in a circular fashion and it's connected to this cam that would move this massage nub thing up and down. Towards the back, there's two nubs that are stationary, but it's nice to see that it reaches all the way back towards around the center of the back of the foot. I'm gonna turn it on. This is low need intensity. Medium, you can see the motor turns a little faster. High, it's even faster than that for high. And I can turn it completely off. The heat is actually this little lamp right here. I can push it and it turns right off. For the air intensity, I can do, let's say high. It's this bellow thing. The motor here, is spinning. It's on this little squishy platform to reduce vibration to the rest of the system. The air goes in here, splits off into two, the front and back of the foot. When it gets to the front of the foot, it goes to the left foot and the right foot here. The other side goes to the ankle side and it splits off to the left and right foot to these little bellows here. Let's see if I can cause it to let go by squeezing it really early. Wait for it to start pumping. When I squeeze it very hard, it seems like it's on a time base rather than sensing the pressure. It just turns on the motor for a certain amount of time for high, squeezing your foot a lot, and then it turns off. I gave this a try over a week or two and I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of the pressure that's put on your foot. I'm not too sure what it is about this one. Maybe it's my foot size. It's pretty regular at size nine. But for me, the high squeezes a little bit too much low and medium squeezes a little bit too little. With that said, I did try their lower cost version with the soft shell. It's a lot cheaper and the squeezing intensity in that one is just perfect. That one has three adjustable heat settings and a remote. I'll leave a link to that particular product and video down in the video description below. This one, I'd say it would work better if you have smaller feet that would cause the pressure to be reduced slightly or if you prefer somewhat of a lighter touch, then low and medium on this particular massager would work better for you. If you guys are interested in this foot massager or the one that works well for me, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.